In court today, we heard directly from the victims' families the heartbreak, the frustration, and of course the anger. And those emotions, they spread out beyond the courtroom and also across East Buffalo's community. Our Kelly Dudzik joins us now with reaction from neighbors right outside the Tops supermarket on Jefferson Avenue. So Kelly, what was the reaction from people in that area today? Well, Mary Allison Scott, one man we spoke with today outside of Tops said there was still a cloud hanging over the neighborhood and that nine months later, people are still trying to figure out how to move forward. We stopped and talked with people today who were outside of Tops in the neighborhood, some of them on their way into the grocery store about their reaction to the sentencing. One man we spoke with was happy to hear the shooter apologized in court, but he wondered if the show of remorse was deliberately ahead of his federal court appearance with the possibility of the death penalty. That's possibly why he's showing remorse. I mean, he had plenty of time to think about the consequences of his action. It was premeditated. And then he came up, came up in our community and shot innocent people. That shouldn't be tolerated. That should not be allowed. I think a strong message should be sent to anyone who has those types of feelings. Uh, they need to reconsider uh, their heart. People say we go through some situations. It's good we get through those and not get stuck. I would hate for us to get stuck on this incident and not progress past it. It just seemed like it's still like a cloud hanging over the area. And in other words, before it just seemed as if there was always a lot of people out here. It was vibrant down here already this morning. The older generation would be out here talking sports, reading the paper. It's just sad. You could tell, you really could really tell something bad happened here. It's just, it seemed like it's never going to be the same here. And when Jenkins stopped to talk with our team, he was with his kids to get groceries at Tops. He said this is only the second time back at the store and that the mass shooting is still on his mind when he's in the area. Jenkins also thanked all of the community groups that came to the neighborhood to help after the mass shooting. He said one way he's moving forward is by trying to support the local businesses that are still in East Buffalo. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News. All right, Kelly, thank you for that update tonight.